Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be checking out how to defeat this uncollected final boss, the new storm. And it's actually fairly straightforward for most part. So I'm going to show a couple of cheese tactics and then just uh, show what's uh, more or less important in the fight. Before we get to the gameplay videos, uh, the nodes that she has, basically she has a massive armor buff that's going to be all the time present there. Unless you nullify, she also gains prowess periodically. It's kind of like aggression fury regeneration and now apparently there's aggression promise nodes so she has that going on for her that is definitely kind of like worrisome i guess because if you let them build up her special attacks hit really hard but her special attacks hit really hard anyway so that node doesn't matter too much and uh, also this last node that whenever you nullify a debuff she gains a 40 percent bar of power uh it also activates when you armor break with uh, an armor break champion her armor that counts as a nullify so she's going to be gaining power then as well but for most part what this fight is going to be all about it's going to be all about her glancing your attacks unless you have the tempest disabled by a power control champion which is objectively probably the easiest way of fighting storm and uh, other than that, you just need to know how to await her special one. And that's it. That's all you need to know. As soon as you learn how to await uh, Storm special one, uh, she can be taken down by pretty much any champion. I dealt with her with like a spider gwen, even though glancing made that fight really long. It was like 200 hits. But any champion realistically can down Storm. There's nothing overly complicated. Just remember that knocking her down will give her more promise, which will make sure her unstoppable her specials are all the time like unstoppable unblockable sorry but uh yeah it's uh for most part a relatively straightforward fight the trick there is uh if you want to use like your standard champions just to learn to evade her special one which is a similar timing to havoc and or kind of like miles morales is basically dash dash pause and dash but uh as we are getting to the gameplay if you do not have time to learn any of that for now then know that uh, ronan works and for whatever reason his level one never gets glanced so you pretty much have a champion that can just deal with her immensely easily because uh, as you will be filling your bars of power and as she will be filling her bars of power uh she's continuously going to get these promise buffs and uh that stun is going to be all the time there, long enough for you to continuously get your special attacks. Again, I do not know exactly why. There are some special attacks that in-game that just do not ever get glanced. Ronan's is one of them. Uh, then there's Blades level 1, there's Hawkeye's level 1, quite a few bunch of them. So yes, Ronan, just go in, activate your level 1, and win the fight. As simple as that. Uh, doesn't become easier in this game i guess the second thing that you do need to know that there's absolutely nothing uh, stopping you from uh, quaking her uh, even a four star quake will do there is no limber so it is extremely easy to use quake you can heavy parry her animations are fairly straightforward you're not nullifying anything so there's no power gain involved and this is another method that will let you to deal with this storm without a need to learn how to wait at level one even though that will arguably be a useful thing to know how to do in future if you are a bit busy and just don't feel like learning anything right now then uh, yes you can bring in quake and um, the fight will be as simple as any other fight with quake always is now i'm not going to showcase the full quake fight clip here i think i'm going to get her down to like 50% and then we're going to switch to the next method uh, but yeah so Ronan is by far the easiest option when you're using Quake it's once again just any regular fight there is nothing to learn nothing tricky nothing difficult there's no limbers no rapid metabolisms no stun immunities no nothing of the sort very simple now the third and most likely option for most people I guess will be using power control champions so your Dormammu's Dr. Doom's uh OG visions, magics, uh, whoever else power controls and or nullifies. Now there is uh, one thing to know definitely. Well, first things first, you will have to learn how to evade a couple of her level ones at least, right? Uh, but uh, you cannot do double heavy attacks against this champion and that probably will go pr 
for vast majority of the champions because I was doing the same thing in stream and as I did it she just kind of like stood up and uh, she got me and she knocked me out and the same thing will happen in this fight as you can see that magic is working perfectly fine we are keeping the storm power locked and uh, once her tempest are disabled we don't have to worry about glancing so the fight is gonna go quicker than it would go otherwise and uh, it's a very kind of like simple fight and nothing uh, outstanding is happening so magic is working fantastically but at one point i'm going to decide that i'm going to mix in some heavy attacks as i quite frequently like to do with magic these days and when i'm going to try and go for a double heavy attack right now she kind of immediately stood up for whatever reason so i'm not too sure why is that but uh, it seems like she has some sort of animation that prevents you from chaining multiple heavy attacks while she's against the wall so keep that in mind but yeah power control champions work pretty much all of them uh, but if you are comfortable awaiting that level one, you can use literally any champion. I'm um, here kind of just proving a point with Iron Fist, I suppose, uh, using him for once for something, because, well, I have a duped six-star Iron Fist, and I don't think I had ever brought him in a quest. So this was as good a time as any, I suppose. So here is the timing for that uh, level one await. I'll try and slow it down as well. So here we go, a full away. Two quicker dashes, then a pause, and then another dash. So here she is about to go for her level one. We can see it in slow motion. So she shoots her level one, and then you just dash back. And after her first initial hit, there are gonna be three kind of like icicles coming down. Here is the first icicle, and you pretty much immediately do a second dash, not too quickly. Then you wait a slight moment and then you dash for the third time. The timing is extremely similar to Havoc's level 1 special or Maestro, I suppose, or Miles Morales special attack. So it's a fairly kind of common timing. It uh, did take me a couple of fights to get used to it, but uh, yeah, it's not overly complicated. And if you know that, then it's a very simple fight. Now, her level 2 I will not showcase in these clips because it does last, it does go through the entire screen you cannot outrange it and i haven't learned the full timing for it yet i'm sure i eventually will have to but uh, because of the way that the fight is structured you are not really pressured to push her to level two ever she doesn't really get power gain much either and uh, my personal suggestion is just keep her in that like a level one rotation it's relatively simple to avoid uh, there's not too much to kind of like Remember, the animation is kind of like fairly set. Your muscle memory will remember it if you are used to awaiting like Havoc and Miles, so on and so forth. And it's a very simple kind of like, I didn't have like many special attacks that I messed up. And uh, yeah, so other than that, the fight is as straightforward as it comes. You can look at her more or less like as an Ant-Man with a bit trickier special attack. Because yes, that glancing is there unless you power lock her or power drain her so that is going to be obviously annoying it's going to take a longer time but you can uh, quite literally use any single champion available there is not a single champion requirement for this fight so long as you learn how to avoid that level one or bring in one of the cheese counters that i have mentioned previously speaking of kind of like alternative methods obviously as to dealing with this storm you can always try and use blade as well if you are not comfortable with that level one still no matter how you try and just go with that parry method especially if your deep wounds are maxed now i will make some slip ups here and there in this clip because i was kind of like trying to get this guide out for you guys as quickly as possible but it's a perfectly viable strategy once again because she hardly gains power when you use this method and uh you can deal some solid damage you how hardly any special attacks to evade. Obviously, when she does get the special attack uh, with this method, you better do away it because there's going to be a lot of prowess buffs. Uh, but uh, even so, uh, if you cannot and if you fail that away, you will have managed to deal significant amount of damage to this storm by the time she reaches that special one to begin with. And uh, as a quick note, if you are running Ghost Rider Synergy, then storm is also a villain champion and you will get your danger sense and your damage output will increase so that is also something definitely worth noting in case uh, this perhaps is going to be your uh, 
chosen strategy to deal with. And uh, yeah, as you can see, she has pretty much lost half her health by the time she got like a bar of power. And the last clip, the last clip I'm going to be showing to you guys before uh, the video is over is a simply win of the duck. Obviously, there is that a 90% armor up buff. So, uh, win of the duck is again a fairly effective option here because of all the increased armor. When you do get the toxic armor stacked up on her, uh, then you can deal quite a bit of damage uh, whenever you land a crit, especially. Obviously, glancing does get quite annoying and prevents you from critting. But uh, when you do land a crit, a huge chunk of her life is going to go away. So this is uh, like a rank 3 Venom the Duck. So it's definitely not jacked. Most of you guys probably, if you are using the Champion and Uncollected, will have more stacked Venom the Ducks. So here I'm going to go for level 2. And every time I'm going to crit, we're going to see that a huge chunk of her health is going to disappear in the fight. It's going to be over in just a few moments. But all that being said and done, I hope this video helped you guys how to defeat uh, the storm. Uh, hopefully this also helped you how to learn to await the level 1. And remember, if in doubt, just quake it. Or in this case, just bring in Ronan and you're going to be perfectly fine. Okay, that will do for today. Once again, uh, don't forget that hit sub button, like button, all the buttons, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya!